Hi, in this video we are going to demonstrate how to install an awning. We are going to install a double awning which means you are going to join two awnings together. You could just do one but we are going to do two and the reason for this installation is if you look on the top of the window frame you'll see there is nothing to stop the water. So when there is rain, if you look at this wall here, this is a parapet wall, there is nothing to stop the rain from getting in the window. Uh, if you see the window, if it's open, there we've opened the window and what happens is when it rains, the rainwater is getting in there and getting especially there at the bottom. So what we're going to do is we're going to install the awning to stop the water from getting in at the bottom um, of this window and just damaging the curtain. Alright, so this is a step-by-step -step installation of the awning and we'll just show you the awning we're going to install. This is the awning. It is a do-it-yourself type awning so you don't need specialized tools except for a drill and maybe a spirit level and or maybe a socket set but you'll see as we go along what we are going to do. Okay, the first thing would be to open the packages. Right, I'm going to explain the method that we followed in terms of setting this awning up. Now, you will see I have the finished product here. Now, what you'll see is there's two brackets. Well, there are three brackets, the black uh, plastic sections. But if you're doing a single awning, you'll just have the two brackets followed by the transparent section that's uh, connected between the brackets. So I just want to show you what it's going to look like in the end so you can get an idea and then when I'm explaining it as we go along and you're seeing us install it, at least you have the finished product uh, in your mind. The principle of operation is that we're going to install this here. You can see this is the back end. The front end has this little uh, rounded edge and then we're going to try and put this on here but at the same time you're going to have to bend this get in place. You must make sure that this uh, aluminium is tight and pushed in. Now what you might notice is that this aluminium tape, you're going to see it now, this tape here is very important. It stops moisture from getting in. Otherwise what will happen is you'll see bubbles of like uh, droplets of water. So what happens is now if you put the bracket on you'll find that uh, if you take it off you can see now there's a hole there. So then this is why they give you extra tape so that if you've made mistakes you can patch up any holes you don't want holes because then the moisture will get in there and then it'll always show you like um, a water droplets. So I'm going to now just patch the, the place where there is uh, a hole and very easy to do and the tape breaks very easily. There we go and just inspect it along the distance to make sure there is no holes. Right, so what you're going to do is you're going to have the one going there, you're going to form it to, to be there and then you're going to have the other bracket at the bottom and you're going to form it to be there. On the awning it will tell you that this must be the bottom because the top part is the uh, sun protective side. So don't take this off, you leave this on and take this off at the end and now we just form it according to the uh, bracket. So insert this over here. And just bend it and press down at the same time. See, this comes out quite easily, so you don't have to worry about that now. Now, there are little screw holes here.
so then this would be screwed into the wall of which we are going to put it up there on the window uh, on the uh, over the window but we are going to do a duplicate a double Okay, so now seeing that I have a extra bracket, while well, I haven't used this bracket yet, I'm going to use it now to uh, find the position of the holes so I can drill them in. Now I find the, the middle of the wall because the windowsill has a window frame and as you can see if you count the blocks you know where the center is so i've aligned the center and i'm now drilling it in i prefer to do a pilot hole first and then i normally go with over it with the correct size bit that's just my style you don't have to do that if you're in a hurry you can uh, just do the straight straight to the correct size but i, I find that the um, the pilot hole makes the uh, drill stop shifting around Okay, so now I've made the hole and as you can see, I've put the plug in and I've just put the screw there just to um, help me support the bracket. And now you must use the spirit level to get the level right. So we want it perfectly vertical and there I'm just aligning it and now I'm drilling my second hole. Now these holes don't have to be very deep, not more than 10 centimeters 10 centimeters is already deep eight centimeters is fine and then you just put the plug in and now we are ready to install the bracket now there are many ways of doing this you could at this point measure the width and now drill the other holes but i prefer to do it with the brackets on you don't have to do it that way Right, once you've done the one side, you come to the other side. Now, as I said, you could have just measured all the holes and drilled them in, but I just like to do it with the bracket on because then I can make sure that it's got very tightly pressing the um, transparent section together. I'm, I'm pressing the brackets quite tightly together, but as I said, you don't have to do it this way. You could have just done all the measurements, drilled all the holes, and then put it on the wall. All right, so now I've marked off the bottom hole, I'm drilling it in, and then I've got to mark off the top hole and drill that in. This uh, you can do this uh, if you're one person, although it is quite challenging. But I have done this before uh, by myself. Now notice the spirit level on the top of the unit that is showing me the le <clears throat> the level. So I have the spirit level there. It does look like it's skewed. It's just because the top isn't screwed in. I've marked it off now. I'm now going to drill it shortly. I'm going to drill it, and then uh, I'm just checking the level with the spirit level. I'm using a screwdriver to mark it off on the wall. Now, if your wall is plastered, then it's easy because you can just use a pencil. But because it's a, a brick wall and a face brick, it's not so easy to mark it off. You can get chalk, but again, the chalk is quite big. You can't always get it inside the hole. So I was using a screwdriver. Um, and now I'm just going to drill it. But I don't want to put too much force on the transparent part so i've just pulled it down slightly just so i can drill the top hole and you, you you don't want to maneuver it too much but remember there are screws on each side of the bracket holding the brackets onto the transparent section so do you remember earlier in the video i did show i did show that i was screwing in there was four screws come with it to make sure that the black brackets do not fall off all right so now everything is fastened it's now time to do the uh, the the second one now what I want to bring to your attention is if you were just doing a single awning well this is it so you would just fasten it now and you'd be done but right, if you were doing a single awning then you'd be done you would now just peel this uh, uh, protective covering here and peel it out like this
and then the one on the top same story take it off And you could put some silicone on the top so that the water when it rains does not come dripping down here so it's a good idea to take some silicone or uh, some tape and just seal here at the back so that when it rains you don't just don't get the drips coming through because the drips will come through like this so we'll show you that towards the end but right now you can see this is how you do a single awning and if you're going to do a uh, double then you would carry on and you'll see what we do now in the rest of the video okay so we've just put this one on in the same way we showed you how to do the first one put the screw here the screw here and the screw here all right so i'm putting the bracket on the side like i've shown you already how to do it now it's time to fit the unit but before I do that I'm just going to put some silicone here because I don't want uh, the piece to ever come out or move so keep in mind that that screw only allows you to fasten it in one direction so now when we join the second side there isn't really anything keeping it in there other than the pressure from the uh, right hand side bracket which we still have to install so what I normally do is just add some silicone just to kind of glue it in uh, even though it's not going to move much just in case there's a hailstone or something just so that it doesn't pop out although if you install it properly there's no reason why it should pop out but I just like to put the silicone there just to make sure that there is some sort of glue there holding it in and just stopping any right now to do this second section to add it in slot it in it's not that easy it's probably best to have somebody helping you as you can see i've got somebody pushing it from my right hand side at the back there and what you got to do is you got to kind of bend it in so that it slots into the um, recess that's available on that bracket now you've got to be uh you don't want to uh, push too hard but it's got to be seated all the way in and you also don't want to destroy that aluminium tape so you've got to be cognizant of the aluminium tape and that's one of the reasons why i put the silicone because if i did tear the tape at all then i've got the silicone there so that i never get water coming through the little strips of that aluminium now you can see me with the hammer i'm just tapping it along the uh, right hand side there now the reason for that is to make sure it seats all the way in i've seen people do this and then it pops uh, pops out in the middle after about a month or two and uh, this is why you've got to tap it in and make sure it is all the way in it can go in at least 10 millimeters all right now you can see I'm using the spirit level I'm making sure that I'm going to mark off the holes in the correct position and at that point you've still got to hold uh, the bracket and put a sideways lateral force so that the bracket doesn't move remember the um, a transparent uh, section wants to flip open it wants to crawl out or, or, or move out of the bracket so what you've got to do is you've got to be really careful here and you've got to keep the pressure uh, pushing towards your left hand side so that it doesn't slot out it doesn't hop out of the recess so that is why I've got somebody there you can see they're pushing with a broom and what's happening now is I'm making sure that the entire transparent section is seated deeply and now i'm marking it off on the wall i'm just checking that it's straight and i'm going to mark it off on the wall and then once i've marked it off i can do my drill holes so this is the sequence that we follow now you don't have to do it this way if you wanted to what you could do is just measure everything build it all on the floor and measure all the holes and then just drill them in one of the reasons why i don't do that is because when you're drilling in bricks the drill but tends to move a little bit when you're drilling so i prefer to do it kind of in the air which is a lot more technical a lot more difficult a lot more shoulder work but then i know that the uh, uh transparent sections don't slot out because i'm fastening the 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 i'm drilling the holes knowing exactly where they are uh, and taking into consideration there may have been some movement on the other brackets when I had installed them so when I do it this way I know that it's a very tight fit but as I said it is probably easier if you build the whole thing on the floor and you mark off all the holes on the wall and then you just drill all the holes and then two people and you insert all the plugs and then you just drill and uh, and tighten but anyway this way I've done several times and I have uh, never had a 
a uh, awning pop out. So this is one reason why I like this method. Okay, here you're seeing the side view just showing you how we're putting the force there. And um, you have to be very sure that it's straight. So you can see I've got the spirit level there and I uh, have another spirit level just on the windowsill there. And I'm going to make sure that uh, the bracket is not only horizontally in the correct position, but also vertically in the correct position because you don't want the bracket... Uh, kind of a little bit off the vertical axis. Okay, so once you've drilled the holes and you've marked it off and you put the plugs, well, once you've marked it off, drilled the holes, put the plugs in, it is now time to fasten it. So I'm screwing it in with my portable screwdriver. And then uh, after that, I'm going to uh, try and seal it at the top just so that water doesn't seep through. Uh, one of the problems with these awnings is that if you don't seal it at the top, you'll find that dust collects there. And dust all on the wall, dust also collects on the wall. Okay, there's no problem with that. The problem is the effect of that dust. When it rains, that dust comes through between the gap of the awning and the wall. And then you get a dirty line that goes all the way, especially if it's a painted wall or a plaster, we get a dirty line. So this is the reason why it's good to seal the top. Maybe if you can use some uh, like um, the tape or you could use silicone. And then um, I'm now just going to take off the, uh, I'm just now just going to check the level. It's 100% correct, but shortly you're going to see me do the silicone sealing. Okay, so just remove all the covering, the plastic covering. And now I'm just checking the gaps there. And obviously the face brick is a bit of a challenge be because there's uh, crevices there where the water can come through. So I'm just sealing it with the uh, silicone. Even if it's not face brick, there will still be a little gap. So you, you will then you can use the aluminium tape that they provided and maybe put some silicone over it. Or you could use some proper uh, waterproofing tape or just some silicone uh, as, as acting as a type of flashing. All right, so I've put a bit of silicone now. Right, now here's the example of the silicone. Uh, I just put it with my finger. I just uh, put my finger and almost like how you seal a sink. And then obviously you can use better things like uh, the tape and so forth. But I'm just giving you an example of how you can seal it. All right, this is the finished product. That's what it looks like when the job is done. And that's the side profile. And from the other side, that's what it looks like. It comes out from the wall about a meter. And this is looking at it dead on, head on. And that's it. So um, I hope this was informative and thanks for watching.